gosh, gosh, gosh. Oh my God. <sighs> Breathe. <sighs> this reading is for the sign of Gemini. And let me tell you, Gemini, some, for some weird reason, uh, there's some type of blockage. Like there's like blocked communication. There's like some type of blocked energy, something. For some reason, uh, something doesn't want you to hear this message. Okay, or something doesn't want me to know about Gemini or something. Okay, I keep getting interrupted. I keep getting phone calls. Something. And it's really, really irritating me. And it's making me want to do your reading even more. I feel like there's something that there's some. <sighs> um, and it's funny because I was trying to do your reading earlier and I saw the high priestess, which is all about secrets. So I almost feel like there's like some type of secret or like some type of like hidden truth that you know nothing about, Gemini, okay? Or somebody, you know, either you're keeping a secret or someone's keeping a secret from you, okay, Gemini? But I need to get this reading going because it's, I need to do it. 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 I need, I need to do it, okay? I got to get this out because I feel like there's some type of message here that you need to hear in regards to some type of secret, okay? And I feel like this secret might possibly be driving you absolutely nuts. Um, this can even be something that you know nothing about, okay? Because I remember when I was trying to do your reading earlier and I kept getting interrupted, I saw the Two of Swords, Gemini, and the, the Two of Swords... It can be about either being at a crossroad, needing to make a decision. It can be that, you know, your third eye chakra is closed off and you're not seeing things from a clearer view, okay? Because you're blindfolded, okay? Um, there was also something about communication because on the bottom of the deck when I was shuffling and I stopped shuffling, I saw the Eight of Wands, which the Eight of Wands is all about it's it's all about um communication okay i also remember seeing i believe it was a page of wands i think it was a page of wands in reverse and i believe that the page of wands in the reverse has to do with gossip okay that page of wands so there's something going on but i'm gonna do the whole reading over again Gossip is at first someone is telling tells about you stop the rumors while you can yeah There's possibly some type of rumors. Okay, and it could have been about either a work situation or some type of relationship Okay, because we also I also saw the eight of cups Okay, the eight of cups fell out and that's all about, you know um, Either a relationship that came to an end that shouldn't have come to an end um I, I, I don't know. I For some reason, I got some type of like karmic relationship energy or some type of karmic energy, okay? Because I saw the will of fortune and then I also saw justice in the reverse, okay? So, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. Let's see what's going on with you. Yeah, something is like not wanting... I don't know. It's really hard for me to get this message out. Angel Spirits, guys, please tell me what Gemini needs to know for February. Be bold and make the first move. It frustrates me when I have to start readings all over. It's so frustrating. It, I feel like it's such a waste of my energy, but I have to do it. I shouldn't say it's a waste of my energy. It just, it really drains my energy. It drains my energy so much. All right. <clears throat> what do you need to release? Believe in the impossible. It's time to release the negativity. And at the bottom of the deck, balance spirituality and practicality. All right, let me read these. Because the, the ones, the, the, the Moonology cards that came out in the first reading that I was trying to do for you when I kept getting interrupted, um, 
Take a Time to Heal. What were the other ones? God, I can't even remember the other ones. Something about, um, it's a time to give rather than the take, and that was on the bottom, okay? So I feel like there's something here possibly about, like, an equal give or take, okay? Um, an equal give or take, you know, equal reciprocation, okay? Be bold and make the first move. What do you need to release? Believe in the impossible. It's time to release the negativity. And we have full moon in Pisces energy here and full moon in Scorpio. So Gemini, either you can have Pisces in your chart or Scorpio in your chart, or you can be dealing with either a Pisces or a Scorpio, okay? Um, I'm going to get clarification for this, okay? Let me get a shuffle. Good shuffle. Yeah, Gemini, when, when I get interrupted all the time in a reading, it's just like I have to stop. I feel like I have to stop and I just have to start all over. Like the energy, it, it, it just, it dies out. Like the energy, it just, it stops. Like it just blocks it. And I feel like I can't go on anymore i feel like i just have to like start the reading over all right let me get three cards angel spirits guides what's going all right one card ace of cups be bold and make the first move this can be about you offering somebody a cup of love um some type of new beginning here in love Ooh, okay. That popped out. The Four of Swords. The Four of Swords can be about um, resting. Somebody can be in the hospital, gotten out of the hospital. This can be about health. But this can also be about life's pressures, you know, getting the best of you and like you need to get rest and rejuvenation. Tell me more for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, please. What does Gemini need to know for the month of February? Thank you, Spirit. Wheel of Fortune. I actually got the Wheel of Fortune in the first reading when I was trying to do for you. And the page of wands. Remember when I was telling you guys that I saw the page of wands in the reverse, some type of gossip. Yeah, there's um, <clears throat> there's some this is about some type of message here, some type of communication, a truth possibly, some type of truth that's possibly even gonna come out. Okay, let's get clarification. Okay, I'm gonna clarify the ace of cups. Okay. Why is the ace of cups here? Is this about love? Is this about a new beginning? Can this be about a pregnancy? A baby? What? 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 Gemini. Is this about a new relationship? Clarify the ace of cups, please. Why is it ace of cups here, spirit? Tell me. Ooh. 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 Oh. Okay. 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 A lot of cards just fell out. Okay. There's a lot of communication going on, okay? There's a lot of communication going on. The Eight of Rods, okay? The Eight of Rods, Eight of Wands, whatever you want to call it. But there's some type of, like, communication going on about either a new beginning, love, okay? And this is under Be Bold and Make the First Move. So Gemini, 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 Gemini. You can be making the first move in regards to reaching out to somebody and sending them like a loving message tell me more what are these messages about what are these messages about or who are these messages to who are these messages to who are these messages or communication being sent to who is this communication being sent to who is this communication being sent to angel spirits guides thank you Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords actually came out in 
the first reading, but it came out in the reverse. And it's so funny because there was like Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy all over in regards to this communication. So Gemini, this can either be you communicating to somebody about some type of like ending, things coming to an end, you know, you know, this is about like you, the Ten of Swords is all about, you know, um, feeling depleted, like the worst, is, the worst is over, you know, like not like the worst. It's done. It's done. You know, every all the shit that happened, it's done. OK, but when I saw it before, it was actually in the reverse. So there might be some type of unfinished business here. OK, there can be some type of unfinished business here in regards to some type of like love or something communication about love or you can be getting some communication here possibly even about like being pregnant you can be getting communication here about a new beginning what is this communication about six of cups give a gift it can be about a gift it can be about an equal give or take because i remember uh in the first previous video that i was trying to do um i i saw um it's a time to give rather than to take and here we have gifts okay i don't know why i'm getting this but i feel like be bold and make the first move with be bold and make the first move here i feel like you need to be bold and make the first move and give somebody some type of message okay possibly tell me about the six of pentacles why is the six of pentacles here okay 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 the three, of pentacles, pen, the three of pentacles came out in the reverse, okay? This can talk about some type of sloppy work, okay? Like somebody's not doing a good job at something, or they were not doing a good job at something at first. Okay, I was just randomly shuffling, and the ten of pentacles came out um this can be about family a family situation tell me more about this six of pentacles <sighs> gemini libra aquarius energy yeah gemini um there's communication going back and forth or there's possibly going to be communication going back and forth between either you which is a Gemini, you can either be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or you can be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay? But there's something here about possibly like communication. There's some type of communication about like sloppy work i feel like you know you're 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 gonna make the first move or you need to make the first move you need to stop holding back you need to like i'm getting something about teamwork here too are there something going on in the family where like there's possibly even like some type of communication do you remember okay hold on do you remember when i also just mentioned something about like you might even get some type of communication about like being pregnant because with the ace of cups i'm going to clarify the three of pentacles clarify the three of pentacles in the reverse spirit why is the three of pentacles in the reverse spirit okay sloppy work why a lot of conflict this can be about work okay this doesn't have to just be about a relationship Okay, this can be about work related issues. There can be some type of conflict in either a relationship or at work. 
okay? Somebody's doing some sloppy work. This can be either in the workplace, the family. Somebody's just not putting in enough, okay? Tell me more about the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. What's causing this conflict? What is causing this conflict? What is causing this conflict? Okay. The Knight of Pentacles came out in the reverse. The Knight of Pentacles, oh, this can be about heartbreak. Shit. Okay, Gemini. The Knight of Pentacles, I do know that the Knight is like the slowest Knight, okay, out of all of the, the Knights, okay. Oh, yeah, there's like a lack of effort, just like sloppiness, okay? This can be either about work or like relationship or something, but this is all about lack of a lack of imagination and following through. This is about a content to let things slide. So this can be about work or relationship issue. Um Gemini either either you're letting things slide and you're letting somebody get away with something or like you're the one that's getting away with something and people are like letting you get away with things and like let certain things slide. Um, but I don't feel like that's like, I don't feel like that's Gemini energy. Like I really don't. Like Geminis are not the type of people that would just like let things slide and let people take advantage of them and like be sloppy. Like, I, I, my dad was a Gemini, and let me tell you, my dad would speak the hell up, okay? Yeah, this can be about, like, sloppy behavior, sloppy work. Like, communication that's even causing some type of, like, conflict, okay? I'm going to clarify the Four of Swords here. Why is the Four of Swords here for Gemini, please? Spirit, why is the Four of Swords here for Gemini? Okay, thank you, Spirit. The Three of Rods in the reverse. Okay, the Three of Rods in the upright talks about, like, waiting for your ships to come in. But I kind of feel like you're just, like, you're not even, like, you're not even waiting anymore. And right here we have, what do you need to release? Believe in the impossible. It's time to release the negativity. I feel like you're, you're being negative. You failed to believe in the impossible. And you're just like, you're not even, like, you're not even waiting around for your ships to come in. You're just, you're laying here. You're just laying here and you're just like, I, I'm done. I'm done waiting around. You're not even waiting anymore. Because it's, if it was in the upright, it's like, okay, I'm waiting. I trust in the divine. I trust in, you know, this will of fortune, you know, whichever way the will turns, you know, it's my destiny, you know, but I feel like you're just like, you're just not even really, you're not even really waiting anymore. You're just like, I feel like you're in this negative like space right now, Gemini. And you know what? Um, I believe Mercury just. I, I believe we just came out of Mercury retrograde, okay? And Gemini, I do know that Mercury rules Gemini and Mercury rules Virgo. So this could have put you in some type of like weird, foggy energy of like negative thinking, okay? You may feel like you're just like out of luck, okay? You, you may be scared to make the first move in regards to some type of communication and tell somebody that they're being sloppy and they're not putting in enough effort. And it's putting you in this like negative energy, okay? And you're just kind of like, I don't even believe shit anymore. I don't believe that things are going to come to me anymore. I don't think that there's, I don't think anything is going to come of this situation. So I feel like now you might possibly just be in this energy of just like laying around. Like you're repo, like you're in this like repose energy of like, I don't fucking give a fuck anymore. And I'm sorry for cussing, but like. That's literally the energy that I feel. Like, I give up. Like, I feel like you're just giving up. You're giving up. You don't even believe in the impossible anymore. You don't believe in the impossible anymore, Gemini. And you're just about ready to give up. You're giving up. You don't even... You're, you're not even waiting for your ships to come in. You're not waiting for that luck 
that divine, you know, to come in and, and, and help you, you know, to release this negative energy to, you know, this, to make the, be bold and make the first move, you know, you're not putting in any effort, you know, to balance you know, practicality and spirituality. And it's funny because right here on the bottom, surrender to the divine. Tell me more about the four of swords spirit. Tell me more about the four of swords, please. Tell me more about the four of swords for Gemini. For Gemini. Ooh, okay. The tower. Gemini, what's going on? The tower can either be a good thing or a bad thing, okay? Let me just tell you. <sighs> Let me get one more. Because I, I, I'm i feeling a certain energy here and it's going to make me, like, get emotional. Give me one more for Gemini, please. One more. One more. One more to clarify the four of swords. Clarify the four of swords. Okay. Oh, yeah. The knight of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. Yeah, this is actually, this can possibly be something good that's coming towards you, okay? Okay, Gemini, 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 Gemini. <sighs> Gemini, some of you guys might be in this energy of like, you're not trusting in the divine. You're just in this negative space and you're just, you're, you're, you're just, you know, I, I'm done waiting around, you know, this tower hit me, you know. I'm just going to like sit here in my energy and just like, you know, not do anything. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. That's your energy. This can be either your energy or somebody that you're dealing with. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But with this six of rods being, oh, wow. Okay. Whoever you are, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. Okay. I caught everybody. Okay, girlfriend. Okay. All right. Gemini, this tower, okay, you feel like this tower that hit you is like so negative. You feel like this tower that hit you is like, it puts you in like desolation. Like you feel like so depleted. But let me tell you, this tower happened to give you a fucking victory. Okay. There's like, there's some type of victory here. There's something good that's going to happen out of this tower. Okay. Because we have the six of rods. Okay. This is all about victory. And then we have the six of swords. This is all about moving on to calming waters. Okay. The queen of rods, which is all about calm. This, 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 this queen of rods has the ability to, you know, calm a, a cat, you know, a, a, a man, you know, a stressed out man. Okay. So this, this is going to, this, let me tell you, when the universe and the divine knows that something is not good for you and you're not doing anything, like if you know, it's not good for you and, and, and the universe and your spirit guides and God knows it's not good for you. There's going to be obstacles thrown in your way. And there's going to be a, a tower moment where, you know, you feel like everything in your life is just come, it, it comes crashing down. Okay. Let me tell you, if you know, something is not good for you and you keep holding on to it and you keep trying to pull it closer to you instead of getting rid of it, knowing it's not good for you, the universe is going to send that tower moment. Why? Because you deserve a victory. You don't deserve the shit that you're going through, Gemini. Surrender to the divine. Surrender to the divine, okay? Believe in the impossible. Balance spirituality and practicality, okay? I'm going to clarify the tower, okay? Please clarify the tower. Yeah, this is about like a wounded warrior, like leaving the past behind. Whoo! Moving on, girlfriend, whoever you are, finding balance after this tower moment. Tell me more. Going within. This can be about going within. This can be, you know, you moving forward and going towards a Virgo. Okay, Gemini, you can be going towards a Virgo. Mm-hmm. 
yeah, this, this tower moment, it's going to help you kind of heal. Okay. Clarify the hermit. Clarify the hermit. The Ace of Pentacles wanted to pop out. Okay, so this can be about work even. Clarify the Hermit. Clarify the Hermit. Clarify the Hermit. Angel Spirits Guides, thank you. What did I tell you? Moving on to calming waters. You you need to, you need, yeah, the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck again. This can be about some type of heartbreak. You feel like this, there's, there was some type of heartbreak. There was possibly some type of, you know, failed relationship, you know, and you feel like everything is just like, you know, just so fucked up right now. And this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And I don't know why I'm picking up on this Gemini, but some of, I'm getting that some of you guys, Gemini, were possibly dealing with an Aquarius or a Libra in the past. A Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in the past, okay? And, like, you're you're still trying to, like, move on from that heartache. Yeah, you're... The Queen of Cups just came out. The Queen of Cups is a woman who drinks, drinks from the cup of love. This has to do with fertility as well. Clarify the Queen of Cups. Clarify the Queen of Cups. Thank you. Justice. There's some type of justice here that's going to be taking place. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. This can be worth... I, I, I need you to get out, please. I need you to get out, please. Sorry about that. My son like just like came in. He was like mad because... He's playing a game right now, and his game didn't go the way it wanted. He wanted it to go. But um, there's some type of justice here. This can either be about justice in, like, a work-related situation, or this can be in terms of, like, justice in regards to some type of, like, heartbreak. This can be about a karmic relationship that came to an end. Okay, and in divine timing, maybe you guys would be together again. Be bold and make the first move and believe in the impossible. It's time to release the negativity. Balance out spirituality and practicality. Maybe if you reach out to this person, you know, and you make the first move and you send some type of communication to this person, maybe something would go in your favor if you just reach out and make the first move. Clarify justice. Clarify justice. I'm going to clarify justice, the last one, okay? Oh, car down. Oh, okay. Death came out in the reverse, okay? Um, and on the bottom of the deck, we get the king of pentacles, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy. Okay, the reason why death is in the reverse, okay, there, there needs to be, okay, what do you need to release? It's time to release the negativity, okay? You are failing to, like, release the negativity. You're failing to release the past. You're failing to get over these bad habits. You're failing to release the toxicity, okay, of whatever this situation is. Tell me more about justice. Yeah, oh my, this situation has you really stressed out. Are you possibly feel left out in the cold or like whoever you were dealing with feels left out in the cold, Gemini? Tell me more about death in the reverse. That wanted to come out. The magician. Why is the magician here? Why is the magician here? Oof. Give me one second. Okay. Um... The magician is clarified with the moon. And I don't know why, but I'm getting some type of energy here of like 
Moon magic. This can be like some type of moon magic that you're trying to do or you want to do in regards to like get some type of offer or offer somebody something. You're even possibly like coming up like you're you're hoping for some type of idea, possibly even. You're possibly even hoping for some type of idea. You're you're trying to come up with some type of idea to, you know, be bold and make the first move and make some type of offer possibly. In regards to some type of communication, Gemini. Tell me about the magician. Give me that wanted to pop out. It didn't flip though. Tell me about the magician spirit. The Emperor. Bottom of the deck, the Knight of Cups. Yeah, this is about you. This is kind of about you, you know, trying to, you know. You just, you can't budge. Like, you're, you're, you want to so bad reach out to somebody. And you're trying to come up with some idea of, like, how can I do this? How can I, you know, be bold and make the first move? How can I offer this person, you know, some type of communication of love? Like, you're thinking so negative about this. And, like, you're so, like... You're so, like, scared and, like, you just don't believe in the impossible. I'm going to clarify the Will of Fortune because let's see what's going to happen, okay? The Will of Fortune, I mean, things can turn in your favor. Things can turn in your favor. Why is the Will of Fortune here for Gemini? The Page of Swords. This is about quick thinking. This can be about spying, possibly. This can be about trouble with the police. But this can also be about some type of quick thinking. Tell me more. Queen of Pentacles. Can you be... Is it possible that you're spying on a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini? Tell me more about the Will of Fortune. Tell me more about the Will of Fortune. Tell me more about the Will of Fortune. Okay, hold on. I think a card just flipped. I think. Nope. I thought it did, but it flipped back over. Tell me about the Will of Fortune. Give me more. Tell me more about the Will of Fortune. Seven of Rods. Um, ooh, High Priestess. This can be about possibly a secret. Yeah. This can possibly be about some type of secret that somebody is holding in regards to some type of heartbreak. Okay. And you may possibly want to reach out to somebody... In regards to this situation. But you kind of. You may feel like the underdog here. In regards to this situation. Why is that page of swords here? The nine of pentacles. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Tell me more about the Page of Swords. The Ace of Cups here. You're trying to come up with some type of quick thinking in regards to... So, okay. You may be spying on a Virgo, possibly, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, who is single, and you want to offer them some type of cup of love. You may want to go from them being single to, like, you wanting to be in a relationship with them. You may want to communicate this with them and to them, but you're really scared. Yeah, and you're having a hard time finding the strength to do this, to talk to, to this person. To even just release the negativity. To like try to have a new beginning. If you even want a new beginning with the past person. 
But I'm not seeing like, I'm really not seeing past stuff here. I'm not really seeing anything here from the past. Tell me more about the Page of Swords. Tell me more about the Page of Swords. Tell me more. Or you may have gone from being single to being in a new relationship. Tell me more. Yeah, you may be you may be in a new relationship. Like this is a new cycle. You may be okay, so you may you may in in divine timing, you may in the future you may go from being completely single to being in a full blown relationship and starting a new cycle with somebody that you're supposed to be with. It can possibly be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. The two of rods is in the reverse. Yeah, and back here, back to resting. The two of rods in the reverse. So the queen of pentacles. So the queen of pentacles, that's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So the reason why this is here, this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn Yeah, okay, 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 okay. So, Gemini, either you are not keeping the faith in regards to some type of situation. You're not believing the impossible. Try not to lose heart or let others hold you back. Keep the faith. So, yeah, like, you need to trust in the divine. You need to trust in the divine. Because the will of fortune is all about, you know, luck, Trusting in the divine, all of that stuff. Clarify the seven of rods. Okay, yeah, this is about like some type of decision. Tell me more. You need to make the effort. Card down. The nine of cups. This is all about like this is your wish. This is your wish fulfillment. There's somebody that you love and like you want to be in a relationship with or like something or they want to be with you. But it's like there's there's just no there's no faith here. What advice do you have for Gemini? I'm going to close this out with these Oracle cards. What advice do you have for Gemini? Advice for Gemini. Oh, thank you. The answers you need are coming. Two more, please, Spirit. Thank you. Confidence is your key to success. Be confident. Be bold and make the first move. Be confident. Let me get one more, Spirit. Give me one more for Gemini. Thank you. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Give me one more. Give me one more. Give me get one more. All right. I think I got a few more. Okay. For advice. A win-win outcome is forecast. Meditate and contemplate. Nothing is yet set in stone. Okay. So don't feel like things are just done with and all of that. Because, yeah, see... You think like you think everything is just done and over with, okay? You think it's all set in stone, you think it's done, you know, you feel like you can't go back and like make things right again, but you need to trust in the divine and you need to, you know, just communicate how you feel with whoever it is that you need to communicate with, Gemini. Okay? I'm going to close out this reading and I'm going to say goodbye to you guys. And I thank you so much for staying at the end of this reading if you watched it till the end. But till then, Gemini, namaste. Have a good evening. Enjoy your week and be safe. Okay? Bye, guys.